today, a sex offender on campus, M16s for UPD, and last minute professor switches. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Hello Ospreys, I'm Tedlin Log, and you're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. An email was sent to all students on September 15th with the warning that a known sex offender was spotted in the Student Union West Building. According to the Osprey Update, 42-year-old Joseph Cecil Jordan was spotted on the evening of September 14th near a women's bathroom. According to the National Sex Offender Public website, Jordan was found guilty of lewd or lascivious exhibition where the victim was under 16. The Osprey Update says anyone who sees Jordan should call the UNFPD department at 904-620-2800. UNFPD is offering anyone a police officer escort to their car or a campus building if they call that same phone number or use one of the blue emergency phones all over campus. The UNF P Police Department will soon send back seven of the 11 M16 assault rifles they've had for the last nine or ten years. The department has about one civilian rifle for each officer on patrol and only one UNFPD patrol officer is assigned an M16. The rest use civilian rifles. Charles Strudel, UNFPD's interim chief, says patrolling officers carry rifles with them in case UNFPD has to deal with anybody that comes to campus with a large weapon. We are, we are prepared to go in and meet that, you know, meet that threat. And it uh, makes me feel a little better to have the same thing they have. <laughs> Strudel also said the M16s have never been taken out of the vault, which is the main reason why he is sending them back. If you walk into class and have a new professor, don't be surprised. Some students were greeted by a professor they didn't sign up for this fall. Most students weren't aware of the professor changes because UNF does not have a policy about informing students of professor switches. Jay Coleman with Academic Affairs said if it becomes a prevalent enough problem, then a policy could be created. I don't know that, I, that uh, it's necessarily been a prevalent enough problem uh, to have it rise to the level of policy. If it, if it becomes prevalent enough, then, then it could rise to policy. For now, it's up to the different departments and colleges to notify students. So students, don't worry. The departments will now start emailing you when a professor is switched in the future. Now here's Heidi Andrada with your weather update. Ospreys, I'm Heidi Andrada here with your Spinnaker weather report. Right now it is 75 degrees and as you can see we have partly cloudy skies with winds going 5 miles per hour. Today it will be mostly cloudy and you should probably pack your umbrella as we'll see developing thunderstorms in the afternoon. We also have a 50% chance of rain today. We will also have a high of 87 degrees with a low of 73. Alright, now that you've been updated, let's check out your 3-day forecast. Thanks, Heidi. Now here's Christian Rue with your sports report. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Christian Rue here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The UNF men's doubles tennis team beat the top-seeded University of Southern California in the NCAA doubles championship. The win drove freshman Jack Findell Hawkins and junior Norbert Nemchek through the tournament's first round in Athens, Georgia. The duo made UNF history beating a nationally ranked team. USC was also the best team in the country. Findell Hawkins and Nemchek beat some high-quality opponents, which gave them the opportunity to compete in the NCAA championship, despite the fact that they haven't played together for over a month. Well, that's it for sports today. Tetlin, back to you. Thanks, Christian. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Heidi Andrada and Christian Rue, I'm Ted Locke. Have a great day, UNF.